be doing the one color slime ingredient challenge. So I've done a couple of these in the past. I don't remember how many I've done, but I think I did red and green and maybe blue and orange and orange. I think those were the three, uh, red, orange, and green. So today I'm going to be doing yellow. Yellow is my favorite color, obviously, because I'm one in a minion. And not only because of that, I love the color yellow. So I have a ton of yellow ingredients, but we will be having to make a couple exceptions because there are certain limits. So for example, we have some clear glue, so we can't obviously dye the whole gallon yellow. We are going to keep our baking soda nice and white. Don't mind the food dye on my hands. Uh, our activator is still going to stay clear. And uh, I have a yellow bowl. It's a minion bowl. But I didn't want to use that because it's my favorite bowl. And I have an orange spatula because I don't have a yellow one. So this is what we're going to be using. So let's go over the things we have. We have yellow glitter glue. And if it doesn't look yellow on camera, it is yellow. Then we have neon yellow sequins. And we also have a yellow sequence, but it's more of a gold, but like gold is pretty much just shiny yellow. So, you know, it's good, it's good. Then we have these yellow beads. They look a little orange, but the package does say they're yellow. So these are some yellow mini beads, some yellow glitter, more yellow glitter. This one's neon though. Yellow pigment yellow food dye, which I don't know why I have because the glitter glue is yellow. We have some yellow pom-poms slash silver. We have some yellow softened model magic. I didn't have any Daiso on hand. I just had some model magic, which I softened as best as I can. I'm not really a pro at that, but I did my best. And then lastly, we have some yellow foam beads. And I do have a little bit of clear glue left in this gallon, which I'm going to be using just to make it a little less doughy because as you guys may have saw in my fishbowl video, glitter glue does go doughy. So these are all the things I have, and we are going to now make the one color ingredient slime. Alright guys, so we have our bowl and our spatula here. So the first thing we're going to do is pour in our clear glue. This is just a little bit left in the gallon, so I decided to use the rest of it. Because why not? Okay, so that's about what's left in this gallon. And now we're going to add in the yellow glitter glue. Glue. <laughs> Whenever I use glitter glue, this happens, but whatever. Let's squirt in the... Glue. I've never actually used yellow glitter glue. It is a limited time only glitter glue. It usually comes out near Christmas. Not sure why, but this is like maybe the first or second time I've ever seen it before. They also have limited time silver and gold and also like orange and red and stuff. It's pretty much like seasonal when it comes out. Gonna wait for it to come and then you go squeeze. Wait for it to come and then you go squeeze. So I'm gonna leave this uh, little bottle flipped like this in a bowl because I don't know if you know, but with the shape of these bottles, the glitter glue stays and a lot of glue gets left in there. So this is uh, as much slime as we're gonna get. It's really thick, the glue's really thick. But yes, yeah, so we've mixed our clear and glitter glue together. So now we're going to add in a couple drops of food dye, which I don't know why. But it was yellow, so I decided, why not? Why not, guys? This is every single yellow ingredient I own. I can't think of anything else that is yellow that I own. But these stuff, so... Now we're going to go into adding the pigment... This is yellow pigment, just if you guys were wondering. <coughs> okay, so this is going to give it a little bit of a shine. So let's mix it in. I've never mixed glitter glue and pigment together before, so this is a first time experience. Whoa, guys, that looks really cool. Do you guys see it? 
So what should we add next, guys? Drum roll! The glitter! So we're going to be adding in the glitter. So someone asked me if I've ever broken a nail during the process of making slime. And yes, I have. I was trying to open a glitter, uh, here's the other glitter, a glitter bottle like this. And it cracked my nail. And it was really painful, guys. It was sad. I had a nail funeral. It was, it was crazy. So this is going to be a super glittery slime. Okay. Now we're going to add in these little beads. Not quite sure how to open them. I may need some scissors. Okay, we're just going to have someone open this while I move on to the next ingredient. So the next ingredient I'm going to add in is our sequence. Oh, I just realized, guys, there's three different sizes here. So there's jumbo sequence, medium sequence, and baby sequence. So, oh, magic. I opened up the beads. Huh? Okay, we're going to add all 2,000 of them. Oops, they're going everywhere, but, you know, we're, what's the fun in them not going everywhere? So we're now going to mix in our orangish, yellowish, goldish beads. So this might be a crunchy slime. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm currently opening up the sequence. Here's the baby sequence. And here is the jumbo sequence. Here's the medium size sequence. It's a little bit hard to open, but if Bob the Builder can, so can we. So there we have that, and we're now going to mix in our crunchy sequence. Guys, it is really, really crunchy. Okay, so the next ingredient is our goldish yellowish sequence. So we're gonna add that in. We have a lot of sequins, guys. And I'm glad I make some of these signs because I have no ideas of what to do with them sometimes. So you just mix them all together. So it's a really thick slime. So we're gonna add our clay after the slime is made. And the last and final yellow ingredient that we're going to add into the glue is the pom-poms. We're only gonna add a couple of these because they kind of like absorb the slime. I'm actually only gonna add like four because they absorb the slime and it makes the slime really weird. So yeah. In one of my one color ingredient slime challenges, I actually dyed the activator, which was really cool, but it was a lot of work because I did not know what to do with the rest of that activator, but I didn't really want to waste it, so I was making red slimes for a little while. Now we're adding in some contacts on solution, and the powder I just added in there was baking soda. So we spilled a couple of beads, so we're just moving those aside. So now we're gonna go in with our hands because it is getting thicker now. We'll clean off the spatula after. Whoa, guys, this slime is crunchy! So I'm just gonna keep on kneading this. Gonna get messy with it. Get messy with it. This slime has so much texture, guys. I really recommend you guys doing this. Like, go to your slime ingredients and only choose one color. So, for example, blue. You can only make slime using blue ingredients. You guys should really try it out. It is so much fun to do. And I just really enjoy doing these. 
So comment down below if you enjoy seeing me do these or if you enjoy doing them yourselves. It's kind of like a little challenge. And what other colors do you guys want to see me do? Should I do it in rainbow, all of the colors? Should I do it in like silver, gold, rose gold? Which that'll be hard because I only have rose gold paint. But yeah. So that's about it from the bowl. We'll go back to the bowl after and clean it out. So as you can see, my glitter glue's been sitting for a little while, and look how much glue was left in there, guys. It's crazy. So I guess we're having a crunchy butter slime, which sounds a little weird, but it's great. So the little beads are falling out because the slime is so thick, but maybe the clay will soften it up just a little bit. So I softened up my clay using lotion. Uh, I didn't realize the, the lotion was berry scented, so now the slime is going to be berry scented. So let's just mix in the clay. It smells really good, guys. It smells really good. If you guys ever want to scent your slimes, but you don't have any scents, just use butter slime and soften your model magic using a good scented lotion. So it's really, really hard to mix in. It's pretty rippy, but you know, it's good in my heart. All these beads are falling out, but we're not going to judge. <gasps> There's a staple, guys. I almost got a staple in my slime, but now it's on the floor somewhere. So here is the finished product. Actually, we have one more ingredient. I almost forgot to mix in some foam beads. Excuse the birds, they are wild, crazy animals. Here's the opening. Every time I use foam beads, they always spill. There's an orange foam bead on my hand, guys. How did that come to be? We're gonna make a little indent in the slime. Woo! I did not purposely do that. Sometimes I do, but today wasn't the day. So it kind of looks like butter popcorn, which kind of makes me a little hungry. But this is the final product. I don't know how, but there is orange flown beads in the slime, which I only had one on my hand, but now there's like 20 in the slime. All these little foam beads are running away from me. But you know, we're just gonna pick them up and we're gonna stretch the slime. So that's as many as I can get in the slime. So it doesn't really do much ASMR, but we're just gonna see what we can do. No sounds, but it was pretty fun to make, gotta say. So here it is, it doesn't quite swirl the best. But it's really pretty and I really like it. It's dear to my heart because yellow is just my color. So yeah, we're now going to stretch the slime and attempt to swirl it. Okay. Here it goes, nothing. Yay! We successfully made a swirl out of this tough slime. It is a little bit tougher than a usual slime would be. So we're just gonna sprinkle some foam beads on top. And yeah, that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're gonna get an up close view now. So here is the slime. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. We're not going to do any ASMR on this slime because it, it won't make any ASMR, but there is a plenty of ASMR in my other videos. So make sure you guys go check that out. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell near the subscribe button to become a part of the Simon Minion Fam and Notification Squad. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this one color ingredient slime challenge. I can't wait to do more colors, and I love you guys all. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace.